Hello everybody, we're uh, back here with a Saturday stream. Hopefully you guys are uh, excited. We're gonna jump back into the whitetail grind. I needed a little bit of a break from bears. So this is gonna be just a whitetail stream because I have uh, quite a bit of fun with the whitetail. And the bears, uh, uh no, no, not so much as you guys have seen. The bears have been, uh, the bears have been brutal recently, but I hope everybody's having a good day. I got a couple of diamond whitetail uh, off stream. And uh, that was within about 150 kills. So within like 150 kills, we got two more diamonds. So we are now up to 651. Hope you guys have been uh, having quite a bit a, of uh, fun while I was uh, offline. But we're back here to uh, try and get some trophies and hopefully get a great one. It's been about 820 kills since the last great one. So let's hope that uh, we'll get one soon. But how is everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. There we go. Two white tail down. Beautiful way to start the day. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Texas Hardshot. Uh, what you doing, homie? Yannick. Uh, Alex, Lucas, Kale, Gray Wolf, Mary, FV Prods, CJ Knox, uh, Drawn Landon, Mary. How's everybody doing? Hey, Logan, how's it going, man? Hey, Hunter. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everyone is doing absolutely amazing. Oh no, Tango, that's terrible, man. I'm sorry that you got trolled by like such a uh, small margin. That's rough. That's uh, very rough. Hope you're all doing good though. I think we got this, guys. I think we can get this great one tonight. I believe. I believe that tonight is the night that we will get ourselves another great one. That's a decent deer right there. We're going to take that guy out for sure. What rack do I want? I want the typical rack, Ghost. If I can get the typical rack, I will be so happy. It is what I have really wanted, like... My entire time grinding Whitetail, that is the only rack that I've really been chasing and I've never got it. So if I could get that, that would be amazing. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, the Pat N, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Just wanted to say I love your content. Thank you, man. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much once again. Most common whitetail great one rack. The cluster rack and the big rack seem to be the most common. Again, that's hard to actually confirm because it's just based off of personal preference, but, or I mean personal opinion from what I've seen. But uh, from what I've seen, those seem to be the most popular racks to get. But again, that's just what I've seen. Can level 8 capes make diamond? Technically, there's supposed to be a minuscule chance that can happen, but it's so rare that I wouldn't count on it ever happening. Uh, the way the developers described it is any animal one level below max can make diamond, but for a lot of them, it's so rare that it's never happened in the history of Call of the Wild. And I'd say Cape Buffalo are in that category. Technically, it's possible, but it's never happened before, so I wouldn't count on it happening. Usually, with a Cape Buffalo, you would need a level 9 to make diamond. And sometimes even the level 9 stroll. Just found a 7 right here, 237 to 257. That's big for a 7, man. That's really big for a level 7 red deer. Got a total of 8 diamonds. Nice, Kinsley. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Awesome. 
Spent two hours chasing a level nine lion in multiplayer, then my game crashed. Oh no, Outdoors family, that's terrible, man. I'm sorry to hear that. that that's really rough. What's my favorite Whitetail Great One rack? The typical rack, CJ. And it's the only rack I don't have. Of course, Call of the Wild would not give me my favorite rack and give me like everything else. It's crazy that I've currently got 16 Great One Whitetail, but still don't have the typical rack. And that is the one that I've wanted to get from the beginning of uh, grinding Whitetail. It it's just crazy to think that I've never got that one. Absolutely insane, man. But you know, it is what it is. We persist. We will keep on grinding till eventually we get it. I've got just over 2,100 diamonds in the codex, uh, David. Unfortunately, my codex is broken because a while back an update completely bugged the way things were counted. It counted golds as diamonds. It counted silvers as golds. It counted diamonds as great ones. So my codex isn't even accurate to date. Um... All we have is like an approximate uh, count of diamonds. So it's about 2100, but it's impossible to know the exact amount because of how buggy the codex has been over the years. She's doing good, Yannick. She's doing good. How rare is crowned wildebeest? They're pretty rare. It's definitely a pretty rare thing to find. Can we get another one? Yeah, we can. Nice. We got three down. Let's go. Yeah, exactly, Kale. Like, the, the codex is super buggy. There's been a lot of issues that have arose over the years that have made it just not accurate. Like, even recently, it's not counting Great One Moose to your codex. It's not counting them as a Great One. And sometimes it's even removing a Great One from your codex when you kill a Great One Moose. So, yeah, the codex is not a reliable... Uh, thing to go off of unfortunately that's why I really don't even bother showing the codex anymore because it's not going to be accurate anyway not to mention there's been so many kills that I'm sure the majority of us have not claimed the majority of us have at least like 10% of our kills that we didn't claim and those aren't going to show up in the codex either so really nobody's codex is 100% accurate Sadly, there's been so many bugs that have made it really weird and wonky. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? It didn't count your bear? Wait, really? How did it not count the bear? I feel like that was during a time where it was supposed to be working properly. I wonder what happened there. That's crazy. That is crazy. I know, right? Zachary is crazy, man. You know what's even crazier? I've only got one uh, video recorded today, so the fact that I'm even doing a stream is wild. I'm supposed to be recording like two more videos, but you know what? I just felt like streaming. I can always do the uh, video recordings later. It, it is what it is. I figured we needed to get a uh, live stream done. I was really feeling like uh, being in the streaming mood. There's some nights where I just feel like streaming, you know? Even if it's not a normal stream night. I 
I don't know, Mason. I prefer Layton. I mean, you've seen how insanely consistent my whitetail zones are here on Layton, right? I can kill 100 whitetail per hour. Can you do that on Rebel and Thule? I mean, I don't know. I've always found uh, Layton to be one of the best maps for whitetail. They're super consistent once you get things going. Are Crown Wildebeest rare? Uh, yes, they are rare. And I mean, the proof is in the pudding. We've had like, what? 12 or 13 great ones on Leighton Lakes? I think that's proof enough that Leighton Lakes is really good for Whitetail. You know what, Shishi? You have had way too many warnings. We're just, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of you. Seems like every time you're in chat, you're breaking rules. Go break rules in somebody else's chat. I'm done with it. Rose had a couple drinks tonight, and I ain't taking no crap from nobody. Just can't get any deer in Layton. It's all about just finding where your zones are, Mason. They are all on the left half of the map. Like, every single whitetail zone is going to be either in Balmont, along this river, or on the lakes to the left of the river, and then also this south coast. So it's pretty limited, like, the locations you'll have to search for them. It's, uh, pretty good. I've really, uh, enjoyed hunting Leighton Lakes for whitetail. A lot more than I used to whenever it first, uh, whenever the Great One first released. Oh, oh, hey there, bro. What are you doing, dude? You just gonna hang out like that? Some of these whitetail, they get way too friendly, man. I'm telling you, they like, they, they start to think we're all buddy-buddy, but no, we're just here for the great ones. Pheasant hunting content? I've actually been thinking about getting back to pheasant hunting, man. I really want to get another melanistic male and uh, an albino male as well. So I, I, I'd say you could probably expect some pheasant content at some point. I don't know how soon, but I, I do want to eventually get back to it. Because there's definitely a few uh, pheasants that I still want to try and get for the trophy lodge. Yeah, Luke, I agree. I, I'm really excited for American Marksman. I think it might be the first mobile hunting game that's actually good. I've really not enjoyed any mobile hunting game except for maybe, maybe uh, Hunting Clash. That game was okay, given it is still very arcade-like. It was at least a uh, fun arcade-like hunting game, but I definitely think this is going to be way better. American Marksman looks like it's going to be one of the best mobile hunting games ever designed, and probably will be the number one best. Oh, and also for those of you that are just jumping in that aren't familiar with what we're doing, we have completely done our undone our herd management here on Layton Lakes. And uh, I'm going to try and prove that you can get a great one pretty quickly without it, just with an efficient setup. We've got our setup to the point where I can get 100 kills per hour, so we're going to see how quickly we can get a great one. I got a feeling that even without herd management, we'll be able to do pretty good here because, I mean, if I grind 5 hours a day, that's 500 whitetail and... If I get 500 whitetail a day for a week, that's like, what, 3,500 whitetail? I think with an efficient setup, you can get a great one pretty quickly, regardless of whether or not you're managing your whitetail or just shooting everything like we are now. If uh, these deer would actually give me the chance to blast them. I mean, hopefully he'll go down. It's hard to say if he will. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I don't know if I picked up the one here. Like I said, Old Crow's had a couple of drinks of Old Crow, so... Yeah. I might not remember if I picked up stuff. But hey, it's gonna make for an interesting stream, and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will uh, have fun and enjoy it. I don't know if we got this one vitally. No, we definitely didn't. What keyboard do I have? Uh, I believe it's the Corsair K95, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of Corsair's, like, best keyboards. It's really good. I've enjoyed it so far. It's a very quiet keyboard. It's got a super quick, like, uh... 
what what's the word like it's got very light actuation or I think that's how you say it like you don't have to press the keys very hard for it to get for it to actually like activate the key it's such a good keyboard massive fan of it it's well worth the uh the higher price tag response time yes that that would be it Kato the keys like you barely have to press them at all like I pushed my key like a seventh of the way down and it moved my character forward. It's a super light key press, which is great. I, I love that. What monitor do I have? It's a gigabyte something. Hold on. Let me, let me open up uh, Nvidia control panel. It'll tell me exactly what it is. I think it's like an M32. Yeah. I have the uh, Gigabyte M32 QC as my main monitor, and I've got a uh, Samsung, like a cheap Samsung. Uh, 144 hertz monitor as my second. Wait, where'd that second one go? Did we not get vitals? I don't know if we got vitals on that second one. Nope, no organs hit. Wow. You know what? It is what it is. We're we're just we're just here to get that great one. It's whatever. Hope you guys have all been having a great night. Um, I don't know how many of you were uh, in a DD stream, but I stopped by and it was uh it was cool to see him streaming again for the first time in like what a year. It was great to see Didi uh, finally streaming again. Do we have any more over here? Should be another. We do. We got a buck there. Okay, awesome. Looks like. Oh, we got two. Wow. Two bucks there. That's wild. Normally, I just have one buck there. Yeah, Drawn DD was doing a live stream today. First time he's done it in a year, which is crazy. It was nice to see him finally get back to it. Thank you, Jaker. Hope you're having a good day, man. Nice, Mason. Hopefully it's the typical rack. I know, right, EB Rex? I really want the typical rack so bad. I can't believe we don't have it yet. Like, out of all the great one whitetail we've killed, how have we not got a typical rack? That is just absurd. Um, I think he just wasn't feeling like it, Kato. It sounds like DD's been having a little bit of, like, a uh, tough times, like, relationship-wise, so... I imagine he probably just didn't want to uh, stream and stuff, but it, it was awesome to see him jumping back on today. Is there two leucistic versions for black grouse, like one whitehead, one blackhead leucistic? I'm not sure, uh, Zong Yang. I, I'm not sure, man. I don't really hunt them too often, so I haven't kept track of what variations they have. I'll have to look into it later. Welcome back, Johnny. Nachos and hot cocoa? Come on, man. You, you, you hogging all the goods to yourself? Is share with me. Come on. Hey, Ben. How's it going? I don't know if I said hi to you or not. It's all about finding the right zones, Hudson. I have 70 different whitetail zones on my map. And I've picked the best 10 for my main grinding zones. And then I kind of just ignore the ones that are not good. So I'm hunting between like 10 and 13 zones right now. And I've, I've made sure that they are the best of the best zones. So it, it really just comes down to finding where all your zones are and then picking the best ones as your grinding zones. Uh, yeah, Trayvon. So what I'm using right now is the 308 AR, the 300 Magnum, the 22 handgun. And then, I mean, that's it. That's really all I have on me at the moment. 
And then a tent, of, of course, in case uh, one of my tents gets taken down by beavers. So, yeah. It's a solid loadout. One of my favorites to use for uh, the whitetail grind. It's got everything I need. The 308 to take out my bucks. The uh, 300 for uh, whenever I run out of ammo for the 308. And need to, like, get a couple that are running away. And then I've got the 22 to do the 22 trick. And then the uh, tent in case the beavers decide to smoke one of my tents. It's a pretty solid loadout. Yeah, go for it, Chase. Nine years, Willow. I I've only been doing Call of the Wild content for like two and a half years. That's insane if you've been a sub for nine years when I haven't even been doing YouTube for nine years. That's crazy, dude. Hey, NPP, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. Oh, gosh, Johnny, are they getting blown out or something? Feels bad. So how do you guys feel about American Marksman? I did that video on it today, and I got to say, I'm really excited for it. I hope it's not filled with microtransactions. I feel like that's the only thing that could be a detriment to the game because it looks really good. I mean, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? It, it looks good to me. I think for a for a game that you can play on your phone, it'll be the best in its genre. I just hope it's not filled with like super aggressive microtransactions. That's really the only thing that could harm the uh, the game itself, because it looks like it's good. It looks like the developers have done a good job on it. I just hope it's not a uh, not gonna be like a money sink. Uh, maybe, Chase. I mean, we already have a Mosin, so I don't know if they would add a Car 98, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. What do you mean, microtransactions? Like, uh, purchasing currency to, like, unlock stuff faster or stuff like that. Some games make it super hard. Some, like, mobile games make it super hard to level up, so you have to purchase currency in order to unlock it quicker. Um, like they make it unbelievably tough to like force you to have to purchase stuff if you want to unlock it in a reasonable amount of time. So that that's kind of what I'm talking about. I hope they don't do that. Honestly, I don't think it'll be super aggressive. The developers seem like they really care about just making a really good hunting game. But it's hard to say until it fully releases. I, I'm just really hopeful that it'll be good. Because what they've showed looks really promising. I'd like to, Krusty. I haven't really found a way to get a hold of him, though. I've been trying to uh, figure out a way to get a hold of Kendall. Because I, I would like to do a collaboration. But um, he has his DMs closed on Instagram and TikTok. So uh, I don't know how I would get a hold of him. I'm assuming he probably has, like, an email that I could email, but who knows if he would see it. I know I don't check my email every day, so. But, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do a collab with him at some point, as I think it could be quite a fun video. We'll see, though. We'll see how things unfold. Yeah, it might be, CJ. I'll have to go check uh, once I get done with the stream. What is the fastest way to get cash, in my opinion? Um, there's two ways that I've found to be really good. One is hunting lions on Verhonga Savannah. Especially if you go to the lake that's kind of like over in this area of the map. The lake that's on the left, the really big lake that's on the left, kind of like far away from Outpost, it is so good for lions. And the other method is hunting red deer on Tiawaroa because there's so many of them in such a small area, you can get so much money so quickly. I mean, if you're his cousin, Crystal, let, let, let him know that I want to do a collaboration. I think that would be uh, quite a bit of fun. I think we could have some fun doing that if he were to, uh, if he wanted to. I think it could be quite a bit of fun.
Where's the hot spot for Whitetail? And to be honest, like most of Layton has a good amount of Whitetail, but Runaki seems to be an especially good uh, spot for Whitetail. This lake is so insane for them. I find so many here. Another really good spot is right here. Look at all these drink zones. These are all Whitetail deer and they're all in just this small area. It's crazy how many Whitetail zones are right here. Like what? Nine of them? That's crazy. That, that's a lot of Whitetail. All right, what do we have over here? Ooh, let's go! We got a giant level three! Woo! Oh, it feels so good. Not gonna lie, now that we've stopped doing herd management, like seeing these big threes is really exciting. Honestly, stopping it has really made me realize how much it was uh, making diamonds not really feel special. Now that I'm not doing herd management on the whitetail anymore, seeing these big threes like this is really exciting. That's awesome. Try to get that as well, and we'll get that guy also. And he's going to float to us. That, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. I mean, I think he knows what he's doing, uh, Chase. I think he just uh, plays differently than I do. That's the way I see it. Everybody's got a different way that they enjoy the game. Not everybody's a grinder like I am. Just like uh, today, Didi said, you know, he's not a grinder. He just runs around and hunts the feed zones and stuff because it's what he enjoys. And I think that is honestly the awesome thing about Call of the Wild. That is a max weight. Oh my gosh. Holy 270.74. What a beast of a whitetail. Look at that monster. That guy is huge. Holy. That's a big deer. That is a real big deer. Let's go. Crazy way to start the day. Now we've already got like a ton of diamond whitetail uh, taxed that are really big ones. So we aren't taxing that one. Um, even though since we're not doing HM anymore, they're not super common. We already taxed so many of them from the last few months that I'm still not going to tax them unless they're a very unique looking diamond. I'm really hoping we can get a rare soon, guys. It's been over a thousand kills since my last rare whitetail. That is just insane numbers. Over a thousand whitetails since I got a rare. Like even a piebald hasn't shown up in the last thousand. That is just crazy. That is honestly just absurd to think about. Nice, Phantom. That's awesome, dude. Honestly, a, a diamond chamois is really rare nowadays because I don't have a drink time. Ugh. Nice, Hudson. That's the way to do it, man. Albino diamond again? I don't know, man. If we get a super rare now, that's going to be a true accomplishment. Because we're not getting uh, as many diamonds as we were. Nowadays, we get a diamond roughly like every 70 to 100 kills because we undid our herd management. So if I were to get a diamond albino now, I would truly freak out. That would be the most insane thing we could ever come across. I hope we get it, though. That would be really cool. Especially after that uh, melanistic level three trolled us. That was really sad, so... I, I would like to make up for that at some point. What do I do to kill the great one red deer? So I would say just kill all the male red deer. From my experience, whether I was doing herd management or not, red deer always took a long time. My two non-HM grinds took 3,000 kills a piece. My two or my first two HM grinds for red deer took 6,000 a piece. So... I would say with red deer, just shoot as many of the males as you can, and eventually you should get that great one. It's just a matter of time. It's not, Spokeswine. Uh, Way of the Hunter is on the Series S and X, as well as the PS5, and then PC also. They uh, decided not to do last-gen consoles. I'm assuming it's just because of the fact that those consoles will soon stop being supported by 
uh, Microsoft and stuff like that. Uh, because American Gaming Kid, it was something that was very controversial. I didn't realize this at first. Like, at first I thought herd management was, you know, just like a cool way to get more diamonds along your great one grind. But the more I got to see different sides of things, the more I realized that a lot of content creators and also a lot of communities that follow content creators were against herd management and saw it as a way of exploiting the system to get better trophies. And though I really enjoyed herd management and I had a lot of fun doing it, I figured it wasn't worth tearing apart the community more. It wasn't worth dividing the community just so that I could have more fun on my grinds. And so I made the tough decision to stop doing it. Honestly, I'm just happy to see that you guys have stuck with me regardless of whether or not I'm doing it or not. It's honestly just amazing to see that you guys didn't uh, abandon my channel whenever I stopped doing it. Because, I mean, we're not seeing as many diamonds as we used to with herd management, but I'm happy to see that you guys didn't leave because of it. It's uh, It really has been like a, a bit of a humbling experience. Just knowing that you guys have stuck with me through whatever I'm doing. And I mean, no matter what method we're using, nothing can take away the fact that I'm able to kill 100 Whitetail every hour. And I think that will still really help us with great ones, regardless of whether or not her management was able to help us with it. Because we still don't even know. And I kind of want to see. I want to see how long it takes us to get one without using it. That way we can really get some like concrete information on whether or not it does help. Because even though I don't use it anymore, I still want to know whether or not it was helping. That way you guys can make the decision whether or not you want to use it. It'll be out in February, Roy. They uh, they have said they're shooting for February, so hopefully American Marksman will be out next month. If it's not, I imagine it would be very shortly after. But uh, I'm excited for the game. You guys will definitely see some gameplay of it whenever it releases. I will definitely post a video on it. I'm super excited for American Marksman. I'm kind of hoping that the developers will reach out to me to kind of like clarify some stuff I was curious about, but uh, to be honest, I don't even know if they'll see the video. I, From what I've seen, I think they're only on Facebook. Is the new mobile hunting game free? It should be Desert Slayer. I believe it is going to be a free game. They haven't said it will be paid, so I think it will be free. Okay, we messed up that shot. That's unfortunate. Are you going to play Way of the Hunter DLC when it comes out? Oh, definitely, man. Whenever Way of the Hunter releases a new, like, a uh, map or weapons or anything like that, we will be playing it. Uh, the only reason I didn't play with the new, uh, hold on, wait a minute, we got a super chat. Uh, Ty, thank you so much for the super chat, dude, really appreciate it. And thank you for the membership as well. Uh, sorry that I didn't get to that, dude. Enjoy the perks that come with the membership, the green name in, uh, chat, the extra... Uh, Discord channels, the emos, the access to private, uh, private, um, what's the word? The access to, uh, scrap content on the channel. Sorry. Like I said, Crow's had a couple drinks. I can't, I'm, I'm out of it a little bit. And, uh, thank you for the super jet as well, dude. Thank you so much. Sorry that I didn't get to that. I, I just got so focused on, uh, what I was talking about that I forgot to look at chat. But thank you so much. No, I can't English right now, TTK. English is not a feasible language for me. I, what is what is English anyway? It's a made up uh, language in our imagination. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. It's got to be. How do you become a member? You click the join button next to the subscribe button or click the link in the description or the one that just got posted in chat. Come on, give us a great one. What do you guys think is going to be the next uh, great one we get here on Layton? What rack do you think we're going to get? Is it going to be another big rack? Is it going to be another cluster rack? Or will it be something a little bit more special and unique? I'm hoping we'll get something pretty unique, but... 
It's hard to say. There we go. Smoking them. Yeah, Phoenix, that is the only command that is mod only, actually. All the other commands are available for members as well, but that one is just mods because I, I guess when I set it up, I thought only mods would need to use it, but now that I'm... I, I honestly might change it. I might make it so everybody can use it. Can skill rack? Drop time rack? Typical rack? Typical, definitely. I mean, at this point, we got to get the typical, right? We've gone so long without getting that typical rack. Hey, T2, how's it going, man? You didn't miss too much. We got a really big diamond, but that's been about it. Uh, what do you mean, Phantom? Hey, Colton, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. Nice, we smoked him. Yeah, Jay, I do have every DLC. As a content creator, I feel like I have to have all the DLCs so I can show you guys like all the content available. Need to see a pick of the typical rack. I can't find one. Okay, let me find one real quick, man. Let me let me pull it up for you. I can show you what the typical rack looks like. Um, let me find it. I think this is it. I I think this is it. On oh, is this the right one? There we go. Okay, so this is the typical rack right here. This is the rack that I'm desperately trying to get. I want to get this rack so bad. This is why we've been grinding so hard. This rack right here. It looks like a diamond kind of, but it's got like all types of like flyers off of it. Like extra tines coming off of tines. This is the typical rack. This is what we are grinding so hard to try and get. I have a rack that has 50% of this, but I don't have a full typical rack. I just have one that's 50% typical, 50% short rack. But yeah, we're, we're desperately trying to get this one right here. I want that need that. I know, Caitlin, it looks so good. Ah, oh, man, I, I want it so bad, but it's so rare. I, I don't see hardly anybody ever getting it. Cameron, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the uh, emotes that come with that, the extra Discord channels, and the uh, scrapped uploads on the channel. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. All right, later, Ben. Thank you for dropping in, man. How many kills do I have on the grind? Let's take a quick look. We've got about... 850? About 850 since the last uh, great one. Yeah, Waxy, I did. We started uh, grinding the old way once again. And we're going to see how long it takes us to get a great one without herd management. Now that we've got like our setup perfectly primed to where I can get 100 an hour, we're, we're going to see how long it takes without herd management. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the moose, but I think I have more fun hunting the whitetail great one. Like, I love the way the moose looks, but the whitetail are just so much more fun to hunt for. That I end up leaning to the whitetail more often than not. Look at all these little level ones. Small males.
Nice, we got him. Yeah, the moose grind is rough, Johnny. Like, I, I don't understand, uh... I don't know why they had to make it so, uh, inconsistent and weird. It, it seems like whenever you're hunting moose, they never show up to the same place twice. Wow, that was a 97 scoring whitetail. That was actually a really low scoring whitetail deer. That, that's crazy. I, I don't think I've seen one below 100 in a long time. Oh no, Flanky, that doesn't sound fun, man. Hope uh, everything's good. Brendan, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Love the video, so close to 100K. I know, man, we're super close to 100K. Like, ridiculously close. In fact, let me see what we're at right now. My gosh, guys, we're at 93,411. When did that happen? When I started streaming, we were at like 93,370 or something like that. What is going on? Y'all have already pushed us up like 30 subs since I started the stream. What's going on? That's insane. Oh, level three. Woo, let's go. Holy. The threes are coming in waves. I go like 100 kills with nothing. And then we get a couple of threes. There it is. That's a small rack, but still a three. That should be good right there. Oh, got a third one even. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Yeah, that's a really wide rack. That is a good looking one. I think this is a very high chance of making diamond. In fact, I couldn't see this trolling. Yeah, 257. That's a diamond. Let's go. Let's go. Amazing. All right, let's go grab this real quick. Also, just a heads up, guys. My uh, wife just brought dinner in, so... If I don't talk for, like, a couple minutes, it's probably because I'm taking a bite of my food. But, uh, yeah, I'll still... I'll try to respond to as many messages as I can. American Gaming Kid, thank you for the super chat. Love your channel. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much, dude. I'm glad that you enjoy the, uh, content. Thank you so much. Yeah, Colin, we have a bunch of diamond white tail already, so I'm only taxing the ones that are unique or like really crazy looking. Oh, another three! What the? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, another three! Already? That's crazy. Flanky, thank you for the four months, man. Thank you so much, Flanky. Really appreciate it. Dude. Oh my gosh. I'm telling y'all, it, it comes in waves. Whenever you're not doing herd management, like, the diamonds come in waves. You'll go 100, maybe 200 kills without a diamond. And then, you'll get two or three of them back to back, and that's another diamond right there. Let's go. Now I'm going to real quickly take a bite of my food. Wow. That's good. That, that is good. <laughs> wow, that is delicious. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of... Uh... Oh, wait, did I just add an extra white tail to the diamond counter? I might have. Let me remove one. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of, like, Wagyu burgers. But Wagyu, Wagyu beef is supposedly, like, the best beef in the world. It used to be really expensive, but now it's become a lot more affordable now that they've started breeding them here in America. 
So now you can get like Wagyu burgers for about the same price as like your normal hamburger. Uh, so we decided to try some and this is the best hamburger I've ever tried in my entire life. I'm so happy that they're starting to make them more readily available here in the US because this is actually insanely good. Yeah, that's really good. Wow. Look at these guys all unsuspecting of the bullets that are about to go down range. Now they're gone. And tossed into the respawn pool in hopes of getting a great one. It really is, Benjamin. I'm so happy they're starting to make it more, like, readily available. Like, I remember just a few years ago, like, Wagyu beef was considered to be, like, the top of the line, most expensive, fancy restaurant type of meat. And nowadays, you can actually get it at your local store for almost the same price as other meats. It's nice that they're finally making it more readily available here in the US because it's really delicious. Uh, yes, yeah, Seth, I do. I haven't done any uh, IRL hunting recently. I think the last time I went hunting IRL was when I was about 18 years old. So that would have been like, what, six years ago? But yes, I have gone hunting in real life. I have indeed. American Gaming Kid, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Curing the duck aim. We are going to uh, cure this duck aim. One super chat at a time. We'll get there. I can promise you that. One of these days, Crow will be able to hit all his shots. The duck aim will be cured, but... It's small steps. We'll get there eventually. You have cashews, CJ? Oh my gosh. That is my favorite nut of all time. Cashews are the best nut possible. They're so good. Literally the best of the best. The 111, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Had Japanese Wagyu beef for dinner tonight? Dude, that is amazing. I haven't had the Japanese uh, Wagyu beef. I've had the American Wagyu beef, but not the Japanese Wagyu. I've heard the Japanese Wagyu is better. But uh, the American Wagyu is pretty good as well. And I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. It's a good deal. Thank you for the super chat once again, man. And, uh, hey, C, thank you for the super chat as well. Not sure what the message said because it, it it says retracted now, but appreciate the uh, donation regardless, man. Thank you for uh, this super chat. Nice, we got them both. You had hibachi for dinner? Nice, Bucks wanted. That's awesome, dude. Sounds good. Hey, to Hunter Fisher. Yeah, we've got two diamonds already. We're uh, we're doing good so far. Two diamonds are on the ground. We're hoping that tonight will be the night we get a great one. I'm really feeling it tonight. I feel like tonight is going to be a good night for trophies. Whether that's great ones or rares or just diamonds, it's hard to say, but I got a good feeling about tonight.
Uh, sadly, no, T2. I haven't actually killed anything when I've gone out hunting. I got really close two times, but there was always something that stopped me from being able to take the buck down. Uh, the first time, me and my dad were tracking a really big buck. The tracks were just dwarfing all the other tracks in the area. And, like, we knew that this was a massive blacktail deer. And we heard it bounding off, so we started chasing it. Halfway through chasing it, I decided to check to see if I have my wallet because my wallet is where my tag is, right? And I reached down to see where my wallet is and, well, what do you know, I forgot my wallet. So we had to leave and unfortunately we couldn't get that buck. One year later, we got word that somebody killed a 4x5 blacktail in that area. And that was most likely the one that we were tracking that year. So there's a very high chance that I missed out on a trophy blacktail deer. Because I forgot my wallet. Sad to think about, but... Unfortunately, that's what happened. And then the uh, second time where I got really close... Um, I was hunting with a friend and... We found a buck in a clear cut. I got lined up on him, but I couldn't get steady enough because the adrenaline was just so intense that I couldn't get steady enough to actually take the shot. And so I opted not to take the shot because I, I don't want to take a risky shot that's going to possibly get a non-vital hit, right? So we ended up not taking the shot on that one either. And yeah, that's the, that's the only opportunities I've had to take out a deer. And sadly, neither of those times was I able to actually seal the deal. It's just a matter of finding your consistent zones, Waxy. So what I've done is I've gone to every single whitetail zone I have. I have 70 different whitetail zones on my map right now. And I've picked out the 12 that are the, that are the most consistent. These are the zones that are always on time. They're always getting their respawns. And I've just been hunting those. And that's why my whitetail are so consistent. It's a matter of just picking from 70 zones and finding my like 10 or 12 that are the best of the best. And that's how we've got our grind to be so like efficient and reliable to where they're always there on time. Uh, a couple hours, Crystal. We'll be going for at least a couple hours. Where's the other buck? Is there just one? Uh, the gun I'm using, Flix, is the 308 AR. It's from the Modern Rifles Weapon Pack. Very good weapon pack. In my opinion, this is the uh, best Ford 8 rifle in the game. Shot an albino moose four hours ago. Nice, Bucks Wanted. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Uh, because the bears were really just like breaking me, Pickle. The bears were just mentally breaking me because they're so inconsistent. You barely shoot any in an hour. I, I was getting maybe like 10 to 20 bears an hour, which is just, it, it's very demotivating. And so I decided to do a day of just whitetail to kind of make sure I don't go insane hunting bears. <laughs> you know, I, I, I got to take a break here and there or else I'm just going to go crazy trying to get that bear great one. So I decided that today was a uh, day to hunt the whitetail so I don't go completely insane hunting bears. Are moose the same story? Yeah, they kind of are pickle. They're a little bit easier than uh, bears, but moose are still pretty tough. I'd say moose are kind of in between bears and uh, whitetail. They're not the worst, but they're not great either. Uh, 
Uh, yes, Crystal, they are. The Great One Bear is the toughest Great One. Easily the toughest. Can you overhunt a zone? Uh, technically, yes, Jay. So, there's a couple ways that you can overhunt a zone. It may not be in the way that you're thinking, but uh, if you let let's say there's five deer in a zone, if you shoot four of those deer, they will not respawn back in that zone. If you shoot a zone down to only one deer, you will not get any respawns in that zone. Same thing can happen if you aren't using a tripod and you shoot four deer out of a zone, it will delete the zone. So there's a few ways that you can technically like overhunt a zone and make it delete. If you shoot the zone down to only one deer, it'll not get any respawns and they'll just go to a different part of the map. If you delete the zone with hunting pressure, it will move to a different part of the map as well. So yes, there technically is ways that you can overhunt a zone. Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Got my first great one. Red Deer last night took 2,324 kills. Got a super rare at 1,506. Dude, that's insane. Congratulations on that. That is awesome. That is super awesome, man. What is my favorite trophy? Dude, There, I, I have so many trophies I like. It, it's so hard to choose a favorite. I mean, I'd say my 50-50 rack for the Whitetail Great Ones has to be one of my favorites. Just because of how rare it is to find something like that. I've never seen anybody kill a Great One that looks quite like that one. So that makes it pretty special to me. Another one that I really love is my Melanistic Pheasant because you really don't see those every day and they look beautiful. Most underrated gun. Uh, the 270. The 270 is extremely underrated. Anything here? Ow, nothing there. Okay, let's reset the time, see if we can get them to show up. I got a feeling that there should be a few there. Yeah, Raptor, I remember you, dude. You're working on a fallow grind? Awesome, man. Hopefully you get something good. Hopefully you get a nice fallow trophy very, very soon. Yeah, no, ready. Would you... Or have you done the Mr. Black Mansion when he gives in great ones? No, I don't. Uh, I, I don't really use anything like that, Cloudy. If there's a bug that's giving, like... Uh, something like that. I don't, I don't do that. I think the 270 is pretty underrated though, Johnny, because a lot of people, when they first start their game, you know, you're given the option to have the 270. They give you a 270 for free, but I don't really ever see anybody use it. They go straight from the 243 to the 7 mil and completely skip over the 270. And I feel like the 270 can be a really valuable asset to kind of leveling up when you're a low level. So I, I do feel like the 270 is underused in that regard. Like uh, in, in many cases, I feel like you should use the 270 when you're trying to unlock the 7 mil instead of using the 243. Uh, yeah, it is, Riley. If you, um, you can get the Stradivarius for free. Although, that might just be if you had an account created when they gave it for free. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know for a fact I got the Stradivarius for free. My second account has the Stradivarius for free. So I, I do think it is a free uh, variation of the 270. It is, everyone? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I thought. You do get the 270 for free. I think you just have to unlock the ammunition for it. But yeah, I feel like it is very underused. Ooh, 
Nice, Eagle Eyes, that's awesome. Use the free version of the 270 at the start of the game because I wanted to grind for scopes and things first. Nice, Cloudy, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that you can use it for free. 6.5 is pretty underrated too, in my opinion. Oh, definitely. It's a it's a good long range gun. The only downside is the fact that it kills very slow. But the uh, 6.5 is definitely a top weapon for me, just because it's got a really good sound and it's super accurate at long distance. Uh, yeah, Chase, there is. That's a decent buck right there. Do you have a great one, Red Fox? Uh, great one, Red Fox is not a thing in the game. There is uh, a lot of people that suspect that eventually we will get one because they reworked the fox in the last update, but... There currently is no Red Fox Great One. Okay, we missed that guy. Unfortunate. Started the game about a month ago. Just bought Silver Ridge Peaks in the Modern Rifle Pack. So I'm about to start the Elk Grind and Red Deer Grind. Nice Bass Slasher. That's awesome. Yeah, the uh, Red Deer Grind's a great one to do early on because it gives you a ton of money. And uh, elk are a really impressive looking diamond, so that's also a pretty good grind to go on. I hope you have fun with that, and I hope you end up getting a couple diamonds out of it. Got a couple of uh, bucks there. What was my first diamond? My first diamond ever was a red deer off of Parquet Fernando. Back on the old scoring system. Later, Crystal. Thank you for dropping in. Hope you had fun watching. Tips for the moose grind. Be ready to search your entire map very consistently. Moose move around a lot, so always be ready to search all of the, like, uh... Extra parts of the map that you don't normally hunt because they they move around a lot That is the best tip I can give for the uh, for the moose grind just uh, search your entire map very consistently Because they move around a lot they move around quite a bit and so it's worth it to keep looking around your whole map Just to make sure you're not missing any they are constantly moving. I mean, that's up to you, Foxtrot. I would grind whichever you're really wanting to get trophies from. If you're looking for some elk trophies, then keep grinding elk. If you want to go for red deer or white tail, then, you know, go for those. It really comes down to what you want to go for. Whatever you're enjoying hunting for. Back in two reindeer hit me. I was like, okay, nothing too bad. Then boom, a moose came out of nowhere. Was like, what just happened? Oh gosh, man. That's unfortunate. Just absolutely getting smoked by a moose. Feels bad, man. Later, T2. I hope you uh, have a good night, man. I finished recording your uh, requested video. So tomorrow, your the uh, video you requested should be uploaded. Went for a green wing teal hunt on New England with the 10 gauge shotgun. So hopefully you'll enjoy that.
Nothing there. Let's move over to this zone. Elk is really fun, so I'm going to keep on. Nice, Foxtrot. I hope you have fun with that, man. Elk is uh, quite an enjoyable grind. A lot of cool trophies to be had with that, especially the albinos. Those things look so good. Ah, it took too long to take a shot on him. I mean, I'm gonna hope he'll go down. It's hard to say. What map is best for Whitetail? It's between Revon Tule Coast and Leighton Lakes. Both of them are incredibly good for Whitetail. I, I don't think there's really a bad option between the two. They're both really, really good. So it comes down to your preference. Which one do you enjoy more? How do you get so much money? Lots of great one grinds, Matt 2K. I've killed over 25,000 whitetail and about 20,000 red deer. So you can imagine how the money would build up quite a bit after all of that. So yeah, that's how I've got the majority of my money. It's just spending an absurd amount of time in the game grinding for great ones. Like right here, we kill about 100 whitetail every hour, and each of them get between like 600 and 900 cash. So, you know, that's like 60k an hour. And that's at the low end because whitetail give way less than like red deer do. So when I was grinding red deer, we were making an absurd amount of money. Miss that guy, unfortunately. How many hours do I have? About 4,800 on my main account. And then between like three and 400 between my uh, beginner series account and my like challenge account. Hey, Bailey, how's it going? Uh, we got a couple diamonds, but uh, no rares, no great ones, nothing too insane. We're hoping that we will get something wild soon, though. Uh, yeah, Call the Wild Kid, I was in a DD's stream earlier. Oh, oh gosh, what's happening? Can feel a mela coming? I hope so. Uh, if we could get a mela, that'd be awesome. I haven't had a lot of melanistics this grind. We had that uh, troll level three mela, but really only one or two others. Holy Caitlin with the uh, gifted membership, really appreciate it. And congratulations to uh, Drake Gaming. You just got gifted a membership from Caitlin. Hope you enjoy all the uh, stuff that comes with that. The emotes, the extra discord channels and the scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. All right, just those two of this zone this time. We might do a trophy lodge uh, tour soon, Xander. It's uh, it hasn't been that long since I've done a trophy lodge tour. I think. Next Lodge Tour will probably be whenever we get the next update for Call of the Wild. Because uh, we did one just a couple of months ago. It hasn't really been that long. Yeah, that could definitely happen, Call of the Wild, kid. I could definitely see that happening. What 
What is the best way to find your zones? Set the time to the drink time of the animal you're looking for, and then search every single inch of water on the map. And that will help you find where all your drink zones are. Moose come to the goose collar? I, are, are you sure, Paige? That, that doesn't sound right. I mean, there is a perk that makes uh, animals come to a collar that's not for them. So maybe you have that perk and they decided to come to it. I, I don't know. Best rifle for whitetail grind? Uh, the 308 and the M1 are very similar and they're both really good. Uh, yeah, Cloudy, I, I put it to the lowest it would let me. 99 cents was the lowest it would let me put the memberships to so that's what they are and then we also have like the other tiers as well that are higher but yeah the lowest tier is 99 cents tried to make it as low as youtube would let me so as many of you as possible could use the emotes how do you know it's a great one so if you spot a deer and it says 10 fabled as its level that is the sign of a great one any animal in the game that says 10 fabled is a great one and so if you see 10 fabled freak out because that's a great one in front of you you do collock nice man that's awesome that is super awesome dude congrats what a uh, fur type is it albino piebald melanistic Hopefully melanistic, because those things are crazy. What does fabled even mean? Um, think of it as like the... Think of fabled as like an animal you never see. Like it's only, only told in stories and you never expect to actually see it. That's kind of what like fabled is in the game, right? It's that once in a lifetime trophy that you only hear stories about and you never expect to actually be able to hunt yourself. That's kind of what the great ones are uh, meant to represent. And that's why their level is 10 fabled. Because they are that fabled animal that many talk about but only few will ever get to find. At least that was the original intentions of great ones. Hey, Hugs, you didn't miss too much. We got a couple diamond whitetail. Uh, that's been about it. We've just been smoking as many of them as we can. Can we get this guy? Can we get either of these bucks, maybe? Hey, we absolutely nailed that one. Uh, yeah, Matt, you definitely could. It's just going to be a bit slower. You can totally do a grind without uh, tents and stands. It, it just will take longer because you'll have to be clearing hunting pressure and you'll have to uh, walk to a lot of locations. But it's possible. Xander, I already told you, I'm not going to do a Trophy Lodge tour yet. It's only been a couple months since the last one. Most likely, I'll do another Trophy Lodge tour whenever we get another update, man. I can't just do Trophy Lodge tours like every week, you know? People would get tired of seeing them after a while. Gotta kind of space them out, get some new stuff in the lodge before we do tours.
How long does it take to get a great one now? Uh, it, it depends, man. Great ones are quite random, so... It could take 20 kills, it could take 7,000 kills. Really no way to know until you actually uh, get your great one. And I mean, that's why they're the great ones, because you really can't predict them. I've had uh, great ones show up in 80 kills, and I've also had them show up in 7,000 kills, so it can vary quite a bit. My longest great one grind ever was 6,700 kills for uh, Red Deer. And my quickest grind ever was 80 kills for a Whitetail. It can vary quite a bit. How many great ones have you shot in every animal? Uh, so all of these statistics are on screen. We've got 16 white tails, 6 red deer, and 3 moose with 0 black bear. Black bear are the one great one that we have not been able to get. It is unfortunate. 80 diamonds? No, 80 kills in total, Tanner. 80 kills in total was the quickest great one I ever got. That guy booked it quickly. Thought your 80 kills was a moose? Uh, no, the moose was 130. The moose grinds were 820, uh, 130, and 500. The current moose grind has been like 1200 with nothing. So it's taken much longer than the first three. Uh, yes, Hunter Call the Wild Kid. I actually have two diamond albino red deer. I've shot a lot of red deer though, like 20,000. What's this song called? Let me check real quickly. It's called uh, Stars Like Me by Dama Beats. When am I killing Lucky? Uh, probably not for a while. Lucky has uh, gave us many trophies across the uh, course of his life. So Lucky gets to live a little bit longer, you know? But we'll let Lucky live until uh, he's not giving us any trophies anymore. Ah, uh, no, we're out of ammo. Oh, dropped him. Oh my gosh. That dude got absolutely dropped, man. Guys, we are 46 subs away from 93.5 thousand already gained like 50 since we started the stream y'all are amazing as always going absolutely wild with it that's insane if you guys are brand new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed but you're enjoying the content be sure to do so as we post uh, daily videos daily youtube shorts as well as five to seven live streams a week there's plenty of content to be had and if you're not subscribed you're missing out on a lot of it Just spotted a level 3 white tail. Nice, Matt. That's awesome, dude. Get that thing down. Get that beast on the ground. Yes, on the twos. Those are the only ones that can be great ones. All right, we're going to have to reset the time here. How many kills into the grind? Let me check real quickly. So, when we started the stream, it was about 820. We've killed probably 100 at least. So, we're about 920 into the grind. I mean, I would imagine within the next thousand, we'll get a great one. 
Hopefully less than a thousand. I'd love to see a great one pop up this stream. That'd be great. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate that, dude. Oh, there they are. I was gonna say, where do these guys go? Oh, no, he's floating. Ah, oh, man. That's no fun. Gosh, hate the floaters. Hate the floaters, man. Uh, yeah, Pickle. Actually, a lot of our whitetails were on stream. I think about 10 of the 16 were on live stream. So most of the Great One Whitetail have showed up on stream. Uh, two of the Moose Great Ones showed up on stream. And I think three of the six Red Deer showed up on stream as well. We've had a good amount of Great Ones show up on live stream. Later, Will. Thank you for dropping in, man. Really appreciate you being here. Oh, it is, Chad. It's uh, 8 p.m. here. So I'm assuming you're central time then? That seems like central time, right? Oh, no worries, speeding. No worries, dude. I appreciate you being here as, uh, as long as you were able to. Thank you for dropping by, dude. It's 11 for you, Texas Hardshot. So you would be eastern time then. Because that'd be uh, three hours ahead of me. Because I'm uh, Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, Charles, no great one while you were gone. Mississippi, so yeah, Central. Nice, Phoenix, nice. Hey, Maximum, how's it going? Twenty-three diamonds into my great one white tail grand. How much longer do you think it will take? It's hard to say, Weaver. It's a pretty random thing. How many kills would you say you've had in total? I'm doing good, Maximum. I'm doing good. How much longer are you going for? Not sure, Gavin. Probably just until I, uh, until I feel like stopping. I think we'll be going for a while. Five p.m. here, but it's the twenty-second. Oh wow! So you would be. Oh, what what country would that be? I'm trying to remember how far ahead is New Zealand and Australia. I think Australia and New Zealand are like what 11 or 12 or 13 hours ahead. So 5 p.m. That'd be that'd be not quite as far ahead as New Zealand and Australia. I don't think at least. I don't know what uh I don't know what country that would be. Oh oh wait hold on that's a diamond potential too. That's a big boy. That's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. <laughs> Cloudy, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Or not super chat. Thank you for the membership. Enjoy the perks that come with that. The emos, the extra discord channels, the uh, scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, nothing there. I recommend uh, searching up Scarecrow Whitetail Guide Hudson. It'll show you all of the... Uh, if you check the most recent... Oh, that was a diamond. Not gonna lie, I've been so focused on chat, I forgot that we shot a diamond. 257, though, so that, that wouldn't have been tax-worthy anyways. Nice, though. We got another diamond. 
I know, Caitlin. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing great just clicking through diamonds, not even looking at their score. That's a decent two. Not diamond potential, but that's a good two. One hour away from Tiabaroa? Oh, so one hour away from New Zealand. Okay, yeah. I thought it would be close to that time. Ah, oh, we hit the tree. Oh, no. Nice. We got him do a little belly flop for us. Maybe diamond? I don't think it'll be diamond. This one doesn't look like a diamond to me. Later, Pickle. Thank you for dropping by. Really appreciate it. Yeah, 240. So it's not a diamond, but that is a good deer. Nonetheless, that's a really nice deer. Uh, yeah, the bottom, like, third of Revontuli does not have Whitetail, Grey Wolf. The rest of the map should have Whitetail, though. Uh, Johnny P, thank you for the super chat when setting the time. Why only a few minutes? Uh, because I reset the time every time a herd is not at their zone. So I have no reason to set it back more than a few minutes. Because I, I know for a fact I'm going to reset the time at least twice during a run. Because, uh, let's say if this herd wasn't at their zone. I would just reset the time to get them to show up at their zone. So, I don't really have a reason to do more than a few minutes. Because I know for a fact that I'm going to be resetting it a few times each run. So that's why I don't bother resetting it back more than a few minutes. But thank you for the super chat, dude. I really appreciate that. You think Whitetail are the easiest diamonds other than small animals? Uh, no. I, I wouldn't say that they are the easiest diamond. I would say that stuff like Mountain Lion is easier. Mountain Lion and Ibex are definitely easier than Whitetail. Oh, no, Lane. That's the worst, man. Got to pay attention to that hunting pressure. Got to pay attention to how many you're shooting out of the zone. So that uh, that won't happen. <laughs> yes, it's, oh, my gosh. Wait, we forgot a deer. Oh, that was the floater. Let's go get him. A lot of it is just experience in the game, Carson. And also being on keyboard and mouse for a uh, PC. It helps with accuracy quite a bit. When you're on PC, uh, you can much more reliably hit those uh, quick shots. Just because using a mouse is much more precise than using a controller. When am I going to post some new Hunter Classic videos? Uh, probably not anytime soon, Wyatt. They've pretty much stopped adding new like animals and maps to Classic, so I don't really have a reason to jump on there. I've kind of uh, played everything Classic has to offer. Nowadays, if I want a realistic uh, hunting experience, I, I go to Way of the Hunter instead. Classic is still a good game. It's just not something I'm really interested in anymore. Interested in anymore. Was there only one buck there? I've already done a face reveal, Casey. We did a face reveal a little bit over a year and a half ago, I believe. And I've done some live streams with face cam since then. How much does Way of the Hunter cost? I believe it's like $39.99 or $29.99, something like that. It's either 30 or 40 bucks. Kind of expensive, but it's a good game, so I think it's worth it. Just an eight? Oh no, Johnny. Unfortunate. That's a pretty big two. So is that one. Those are both big twos. Hey, Rylan, how's it going? Glad you enjoyed the content. 239, that is a big buck. 
And 224, not bad, not bad. Do I hunt IRL? Yes, Carson, I do, but I haven't in about six years. How do you kick someone from your multiplayer map? Um, you should be able to go to the multiplayer tab and it should have kick as an option. You should just be able to hover over them and it, it should tell you if you can kick them. Hey Coyote, how's it going, dude? Uh, yeah, Caleb, we got a couple diamonds tonight. We got a couple diamond whitetail on the evening. Nice, Magin. Glad you found it. Just killed a piebald whitetail buck. Nice toaster. That's awesome, dude. Piebald whitetail look pretty cool. Okay, we got nothing over there, so let's do a quick time reset, see if we can get them there. Uh, no way. We're not stacking threes anymore. We're just shooting them as they spawn. That's a good two. Gotta love seeing those 85 to 100 estimate level twos. It's always nice to see. Can we even get him? Now we definitely can. And he's down. Now, is there any more? That's the question. Yeah, that's a big deer right there. Can we hit him? Oh, we hit him. I'm not sure if that'll kill him, though. <laughs> I, I hope it'll kill him, but it's not likely. Um, if you're not seeing your respawns in the zones you killed them in, Matt, they're probably spawning in new zones. Nine times out of ten, if your respawns are not going back to the zones you shot them in, they're probably creating brand new zones with other deer. And so I'd recommend searching more of your map if you're missing deer. Because nine times out of ten, that's where they'll be, is just different zones that you hadn't uh, seen previously. Carson, I already told you I'm not going to the trophy lodge right now. We're, we're grinding whitetail, man. If I'm in the lodge, that's time wasted where I could have been shooting whitetail and working towards a great one. I've got a trophy lodge tour on the channel, and we'll do another one whenever the next update drops. We're not going to go to the Trophy Lodge right now. Dylan, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it, man. Welcome. 413 members, guys. That's crazy. That is crazy. What gun am I using? I'm using the 308 AR Donut Ben. This is from the Modern Rifles Weapon Pack. Really good gun. When am I shopping the great one? I'm assuming you mean shooting. I mean, whenever it spawns. If we get the great one to spawn, we'll shoot it. Right now, we haven't got it to spawn, so... We'll see. All right, they're both going down. Beautiful. Hey, Caden, how's it going, dude? Uh, yeah, Call of the Wild 25. 266 is a decent uh, diamond red deer. That would be on the higher end of the scores. Uh, we will at some point, Wyatt. The only reason we're not doing Black Bear right now is because uh, I, I've been getting just completely broke by the Black Bear grind. It, it's been such a brutal grind. I, I, getting like 15 kills an hour, it's uh, it's mentally taxing. So I decided to take an evening to just hunt Whitetail since I have a lot more fun with him. We will return to the bear eventually. We're not, we're not gonna abandon the bear grind, just I needed a day off from bear grinding. I imagine you can understand. Y 
Yeah, Maximum, I'll be live tomorrow. There we go. Dylan, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Did a 200-yard shot with the Glock on a great one. White tail, most scary shot I attempted, but lunged him. Dude, that's insane. That's that's a crazy shot to take. I don't I don't even know if I would have the guts to take that. That that's insane, man. Congrats on that. Glad you got the uh, vitals on him. Once again, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Lily, how's it going? I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. What's my favorite zone in my rotation? Um, I don't know. There's a lot I like. Either, either this, these two zones here or this one that we're at right now. Honestly, I think this one is. This is my favorite spot. It, it's so consistent and good and wide open. I always get minimum two deer here, usually three, maybe even four sometimes. So it's just a really good one. Is 270 big for a great one red deer? Yeah, that's a decent one. That's not bad at all. That would be a big rack, I believe. Do I have every map? Yes, I do, Coyote. I do have all the maps. Oh gosh. Ah, he's going down. Hey Lee, I do remember you, I do. Uh, tripod stands, Bubba. If you use tripod stands, it reduces the hunting pressure by about 75%. Which uh, is pretty massive in a grind like this. It's a huge help. Where's the other one that I bopped right here? So we killed two like right by the shore and then one further up here, but I only see one by the shore. Got a feeling we didn't vitally hit one of them. That's a little bit sad, but uh, we still got two of the three that we shot. I think it's bad, Matt 2K. I, I don't agree with it at all. I'm very against it, in fact. I feel like it uh, takes away the whole point of Call of the Wild, which is to grind for your trophies. Spot the M1. Nice, Call of the Wild 25. That's awesome. Wait, what the... Hey, yeah, there's a deer down there. That's not the herd I've been hunting, so... Curious what group that one belongs to. Oh, they dropped them right on top of each other. What's my favorite map? My favorite map is Tiabaroa. Should you buy 7 mil or save up for the 300? Um, I'd say save up for the 300. What's max score for Whitetail now? There's no true max score as they are a true X species, but the, uh, the typical max that most people see is 275.53, but a couple people have managed to get 276 as their biggest, so... They can go clear up to 276, possibly even higher, but nobody's seen one above 276. Hey, Marlon, welcome to the stream, man. I hope you're enjoying it. What time is it in Brazil right now? Under 11, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Great one, ready to score 280.17 is that big? Dude, that's huge. 
That, that's really big. That's like the second biggest Great One Red Deer I've ever heard of. The biggest I've ever seen was like 282. So 280 is massive, man. That's amazing. Dylan, thank you for the super chat again, man. Just want to say you're my constant regular YouTuber. Watch every day. Keep it up. I wish you and your family the best of health. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. I uh, wish the same to you, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Super generous of you. That's a decent deer. You ever like uh, see a deer spawn in, right? And your first thought is, ah, great one. And then you look at it again and you're like, oh, nope, that's a normal deer. But like the branches behind it kind of made it look a little bit bigger. Kind of just had a double take moment like that with that guy. Thought he was bigger than he was. Turned out to be a normal deer. Every once in a while I get tricked like that and I start to freak out and then realize it's just a level two. Hope the next great one is an elk or a mule deer. Oh, definitely. Elk or mule deer would be so good. Elk, mule deer, blacktail, fallow deer, seeker deer, like all those would be such a good option. What was the last great one that I got? The last great one I got was a Big Rack Whitetail scoring 637. Dylan, thank you for another super chat, man. You are just insanely generous. Really appreciate it. That is so nice of you, man. Thank you so much. Can you do a 200 yard, 10 millimeter shot on this Whitetail? It gets the blood rushing. Uh, maybe, man. I haven't actually decided what we'll take the next great one with. We could maybe try a long range uh, Glock shot, but I don't know. I, I can't remember if I had already planned like a different gun. But thank you for the super chat uh, once again. Dude, really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing as always. Yeah, speed and go for it, dude. Go for it. Uh, not sure, Call of the Wild 25. I don't know if they have a limitation on how much you can. Guys, could y'all uh, do me a quick favor and tell me how long the stream's been going for? I forgot what time I started at. So I, I don't even know, like, how long we've been streaming. I've just been, like, so focused on the hunt and just so into the grind that... I, I didn't even pay attention to what time it was. Hour 46? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, Chase. We're not botching any great ones. Um, Because we've stopped doing herd management, I also decided that we're not going to mess up a great one for 100k. Instead, we're going to... Uh, do something different. I want to do a big collaboration with another content creator, but um, still trying to figure out what content creator to do it with. Shane, thank you for the super chat. What is diamond rating for a moose? I believe 274 point something. Don't remember the exact uh, number, but it's 274 something. There's the other deer. Didn't get him vitally, but he's dead. Oh PewDiePie? <laughs> do, a, do a PewDiePie collab. Oh, yeah. That'd be interesting. Oh, we do quite a few collabs with Kill Clinton, Casey. I collab with Kill Clinton every single week. Great 1k buffalo? That would be amazing, Nate. I'd love to see a great 1k buffalo. Kind of surprised they haven't done a Verhonga uh, great one yet. I, I feel like Verhonga needs one. It's the only map that doesn't have a great one yet. Do it with Flinter or Didi? That's definitely an option, Garrett. Like I said, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm not 100% sure yet. But we'll figure it out.
Nice, got all three of those deer. Great one, Ibex. Now that's an interesting one I haven't really heard a lot of people say. But yeah, a great one, Ibex actually would be pretty interesting. It'd definitely be different. It'd be super different in the fact that we'd only be able to grind it on one map, which would make it pretty unique. To do a collab with Kendall. Yeah, I'd like to, Hunter 11. I just haven't figured out how to get a hold of him. Great one, Lion. Great one, Lion would be cool, Sam. That'd be really nice. Yeah, no problem, Matt. I, I try my best to help everybody out. The big two. Dylan, thank you for the super chat, man. What one will be the worst great one? Raccoon, raccoon dog, or fox? Uh, yeah, definitely be fox. Uh, fox would be a very tough grind. That would be one of those grinds where I don't know if I'd survive it. I'd probably go crazy before I got the great one fox. That's for sure. <laughs> thank you for the super chat once again, though. Have you got a diamond moose before on level one with the 30 out six? I, at level one? No, I, I definitely haven't got a diamond at level one. I think the quickest I got a diamond was on a series we did a while back where I restarted my account and I got a diamond pronghorn at like level two. But I've never got a diamond at level one, no. Uh, yeah, Teenage Patriot, I do. I haven't hunted in like six years, but I have done it in real life, yes. Just, uh, not recently. Just walking around and see a 10 Fable Turkey. Imagine, Casey. How do you make your 308 silent? Uh, you can't, uh, the Patton. It's the same for everybody. There's no way to make it quieter. It is the same volume for everybody. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. The only thing I can think of is maybe you're hearing the like slight bass boost I have in my audio. Because I do have my audio tweaked to have a little bit more bass. So maybe it makes it sound like it's suppressed. But uh, thank you for the super chat. Sub count? Yeah, I can check the sub count in one second, Gavin. Let me just claim these deer real quickly. I gotta figure out where this one went. There he is. Uh, sub count is 93,481. If we get 19 more subs, we'll be at 93,500. So if you guys haven't subbed and you're enjoying the live stream, consider subscribing as it greatly helps out the channel here and allows me to continue doing my uh, daily live streams and videos. You nice bucks there. Oh, he's gonna float, no. That guy's gonna float, 100%. Yeah, he's floating. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, unfortunate, man. Hey, Nox, how's it going, dude? How you doing? Yeah, Donut Ben, I'll be streaming tomorrow. What is Diamond for Wild Hog? I don't remember. I think 144 point something? I know it's like 144. Where's the bucks? I, I don't see the bucks that are with her. That's one, I think. They don't seem to want to come out into the open, though. That's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get any from this zone. Uh, we might just have to wait for this other zone over here. Nice, Seth. That's awesome, man. Love how I just flopped over. I know, right? The ragdolls are great.
All right, we got one. What grind should you do? Well, what species is which species is your favorite? Um, Lane, what species do you like the most? Because I'd say just do whatever you enjoy the most when it comes to grinds, or else uh, you won't have fun with it, right? I'd say go for uh, something that you really enjoy doing. It's like, it, it, let's say you like whitetail the most, then grind for whitetail. If you like uh, European bison the most, grind for European bison. If you like goose the most, grind for geese. I feel like you should always grind for uh, what you enjoy. Because that's the only way that grinds are fun, is if you actually enjoy hunting for that species. No, Seth, we have not got the Great One Black Bear yet. I just need a little bit of break from uh, hunting them. As they are uh, quite tough. Just got a Diamond Pronghorn in seven kills. That is awesome, Jacob. That is super awesome, dude. What's my favorite gun and map? My favorite gun is the 308. It's the uh, gun that we're using right now. My favorite map is Tiawaroa. What is the best whitetail map? It's between Leighton and Revontuli. They're both really good. Uh, there's honestly no winner between the two. They're both awesome. Yes, Beaton. If you uh, at somebody, it will highlight it. First time it ever was a moose when I saw him accidentally flung my controller and then continuing to get three diamond red deer and doing the exact same thing never gets old. Yeah, it is uh, quite a feeling uh, spotting diamonds. Especially if it's a diamond that you've never had or one that you just rarely see. It's always a uh, amazing thing. Whoa, where, where was this guy? No, those were easy shots and we missed them. Scarecrow can't aim, guys. Confirmed. Scarecrow can't aim. Except for that shot. That one went okay. All right, Chad, later, dude. Thank you for watching. Is a piebald mallard rare? No, it's not. It's one of the few piebalds in the game that is not considered a rare. In fact, I think it's the only piebald that isn't a rare. Not sure why they decided to make it like that, but unfortunately, it just is how it is. Uh, no, dynamic, I didn't. Nice, Gavin. We'll we'll try, man. We'll try to get a great one. We will do our best. It's got a diamond moose on New England. Nice, RJ Games. That's a pretty big accomplishment. In New England's a tough map to hunt. Does it 400 kills in my Red Deer grind? I use a click counter app on my phone. Do you do anything like that? No, I just keep like an estimated count. So what I do is uh, every once in a while we will kind of just see how many kills I can get in 10 minutes. And then uh, depending on how many kills I get in 10 minutes, that's how we figure out how many kills I get per hour. So for example, Right now, I get about 100 kills per hour, so depending on how many hours I stream, uh, I just base it off of that. If I stream 5 hours, then I just say that we've killed 500 whitetail. Because uh, normally, I can kill about 100 per hour. So I don't really use a clicker, I just kind of guesstimate. Because for the most part, I, I stay pretty consistent. I kill roughly the same amount 
regardless of uh, what the day is. Yeah, in and out outdoors. I will be live tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow we'll do a little bit of bear hunting as well as some more whitetail hunting. Any more males? I feel like there's only one male here now. Nice, CJ. That's awesome. Oh yeah, definitely Grayson. Yeah, they're they're not rare, but they're still cool looking. Memo, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Maps always release in June and December, Donut Ben. So next map will be in June. They have a set schedule for map releases. It's one of the few things where we can, like, uh, guarantee when we'll get it released. Hey, DeAndre, how's it going? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Guys, you know what's the craziest thing? We haven't seen a rare in over like 1100 kills. L let me check. Let me take a look at my statistics here. So, we've gone this entire grind since our last great one with no rares, which is about 980 kills approximately. And then our previous grind had nothing. That brings us up to like 1120. Wow, it's been like 12 or 1300 kills with no rares. That's absurd. When are we going to get a rare whitetail again? That's crazy. 12 or 1300 kills without a rare. That's unheard of. Uh, no, Tucker, I, I don't name my great ones. The only deer we name are the ones that we leave on our map. Like, we have a piebald over in this zone that we named Lucky. Because he spawned the same day that two great ones spawned. And that's the only time we've ever had two great ones in one day. So we left uh, Lucky alive and gave him a name. Hey, Kobe, how's it going? What about the Mela Troll? Uh, what do you mean, Gecko? What about it? Not quite sure what you mean by that. Do a blacktail grind? Man, I would if I wasn't already set up for whitetail. Since I'm set up for Whitetail, I really don't want to tear all my tents down and have to, like, redo it later. Because in order to set up for Blacktail, I would have to take a bunch of my tents down and place them in new areas. And I just really don't want to take down my Whitetail grind because I, I've been enjoying it so much. How many tents can you buy? You can purchase as many as it will, as you could possibly purchase with your money. However, there is a 16 tent per map limit, so I wouldn't purchase more than 16 for each map. But there is no limit on how many you can buy. There's just a limit on how many you can place. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Miss Redneck. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you feel better soon. Oh my god. Cause that doesn't sound fun at all. No, I missed the easy shot. I aimed way too high. Oh, we got him on the follow-up. Nice. 
No, Mamba, I I don't play atten I don't I don't pay attention to glitches. I don't use glitches at all, so I don't pay attention to them. Thank you, Chad. All right, later, uh, Fisherman. Thank you for watching, dude. Do I have advice for Cape Buffalo? Yes, uh, hunt their drink time along the east and north coast. That'll give you the uh, best chances to see lots of Cape Buffalo. Memo Snake, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you are doing great. Really appreciate the support, as always. Once again, hope you're doing good. Yeah, DeAndre, I will be uh, streaming tomorrow. We'll be streaming tomorrow. We'll have a new video tomorrow. Lots of content planned for tomorrow. Oh, wow. Couple bucks there. Okay. All right. Oh, he stopped. No. <laughs> oh, that would have been an easy shot, but he stopped. All right, let's try to get this closer zone into their zone. Or closest herd into their zone, I guess. That's a good buck. Is he the only one, though? He might be the only one. Uh, yeah. He's the only one. Probably not, Trayvon, because if I, if I do that, then I'm going to have a lot of other people jealous that I didn't do that for them as well. And so, I, I haven't really done any of that type of stuff in the past. No, Jackson, we're not. I don't think we got either of those bucks, so we're going to move on. All right, later, speeding. Thank you for watching, dude. What's the best great one, in my opinion? Uh, the moose. I think the moose is the best looking great one. But uh, I think the whitetail's more fun to hunt. The moose definitely looks better, but the whitetail are just absurdly fun. Is an albino blue wildebeest rare? Yes, it is beast mode. It's very rare. How much longer am I going to stream tonight, Cloudy? Um, Probably like an hour. Give or take a few minutes, you know. Nice, beast mode. That's awesome, dude. Guys, we just hit 93,500. Thank you all so much for getting us there. One step closer to that 100k goal. We're going to be there in no time. Wow, that was weird. He spooked off. He, he was acting like he was going to take a minute, and then he just darted. I don't think I've seen that before. He, like, broke animation just to dart off. How many hours in the game? 4,800, Blake. Is the Great One Mule Deer even a thing? No, it's not. Uh, Great One Mule Deer does not exist as of now. 
We're hoping it will eventually, though, because that would be a really cool, great one. Oh, definitely, Kobe. I think we could hit it way sooner than three months. Especially with how much y'all been subbing recently, like, we can easily hit 100k before three months. I'd say within the next month we will. Especially if we get another update to Call of the Wild, and usually there is an update in February, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we'll get one this February as well. Because last two Februarys we've had a new uh, weapon pack, so hopefully we'll get another one. If you had a choice, what species would you choose to make a new great one? Black tail deer. 100% black tail deer. With mule deer being a close second for me. I feel like the deer species are some of the more fun great ones to hunt. But to be honest, mule deer might want to be... It uh, might be one of the more... Enjoyable grinds if they did a mule deer great one. Because mule deer are actually pretty fun to hunt. Their zones are really easy. And also just... It, they're well laid out, you know? So I think Mule Deer would actually be a pretty enjoyable grind if they ever add one. Decent buck there. Nice, glistening. That's awesome. Mule Deer on Rancho are nice. They definitely are. I say Mule Deer on Rancho and SRP are the best. Ever since they increased the drink time, I'd say SRP is actually really good for Muleys. But yeah, Rancho's great. Rancho's amazing for them. Ah, uh, because it's just my, not my thing, Max. It's just not my thing. Not a fan of it. Don't like being on camera for extended periods of time. Maybe, Casey. We'll see, man. It's hard to it's hard to arrange a collab with multiple people. So I, I don't know if that'll happen. I can't promise anything there. Collabs with one person are easier to arrange, but when it's like three people, that can be very tough to organize. Because everybody's got like different days where they're free, and yeah, it's just hard to find a time where everybody can meet up to record, so... I don't think we'll see any, like, three- or four-person collaborations anytime soon. But I definitely want to, uh, collab with somebody soon. That's a buck right there. Yeah, Columbia, we hit it. 93.5. What the? Oh my gosh, these toes are showing up out of nowhere. This zone's being really weird, like, some of the deer show up late, others are tucked back in the brush. So hard to see the, uh, the males. Best map to play on? I mean, it depends on what species you really enjoy, Hunter. is my personal favorite. The map is just absolutely beautiful and has a lot of cool deer species. So it's always been my favorite, but... Doesn't mean it's going to be everybody's favorite, you know? Dream trophy. Um, the typical rat great one whitetail with the fabled piebald fur type or a diamond melanistic red deer. Those are like my two most wanted trophies of all time. What do you get for being a member? You get... Uh, the ability to use all of the emotes in chat. You get the ability to use commands in chat. Uh, you get uh, members only Discord channels. A few extra videos are available to you as a member on the channel. And then uh, you also have a green name in chat so I can see you uh, your messages easier. Couple bucks over there. Uh, yeah, that it's really good. Yukon's a great map. 
To be honest, it's good just for the 300. You could get it just for the 300 and it would 100% be worth it. Because the 300 is just that good of a gun. I mean, they're not the most fun to hunt, Hudson. I will admit, they're not the most fun to hunt because of how their zones are laid out. And the fact that there's usually only three to five in each in each uh, herd, it does make them kind of tough. I like the look of them, but I, I definitely don't like uh, hunting them that much, if that makes sense. Like, I love the way the blacktail look, I just don't enjoy hunting them a lot. Whoa, you just gonna zoom like that? What? That's unbelievable. We don't allow zoom in deer here. Nice, white male. That's awesome. Hey, Hunter's boy. How's it going? New and have you come, but I don't know how to get the 300. Can someone help me on how to get it? So in order to get the 300, you have to purchase it out of the store for 75,000 in-game currency. So even if you purchase Yukon, you still have to buy the gun for 75k. What is the hardest trophy slash great one? Um... The toughest trophy in the entire game would be the albino diamond quail. That's easily the toughest trophy to get. If we're not counting super rares though, then I'd say the great one black bear is one of the toughest things to find in the entire game. You just don't see a lot of them. Killed a deer IRL today. Nice, Beast Bone. That's awesome. First time in your white tail grind is 263.9. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations, my dude. What's my favorite diamond in the game? I like the red deer the most. They just look so stunning and massive. Always looked super impressive to me. What is the best map for Whitetail? It's between Leighton Lakes and Revon Tule Coast. They're really good. Both of them are awesome. There's really no wrong choice between the two. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. Um, it does a little bit, Jake. It, it does feel a little bit weird, but I've got used to it already. Like, I'm still able to kill the same amount of Whitetail as before, so it hasn't really affected me too much. Just less diamonds showing up, but it is what it is. The diamonds were never really like super important to me, so I'm okay with less of them showing up. I'm just after those great ones and nothing there for us to shoot. Hoping that we can get a great one soon. I really want to compare the numbers on how quick we get it. Uh, yeah, on the twos, we got a couple diamonds, but other than that, nothing super crazy. No rares, no great ones. Build a piebald mallard on Tiaboroa. Nice, Eli. Nice. That's a weird deer. That's a real weird deer. <laughs> he, he jolted forward to try and get away and he just flopped dead on his buddy. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Two nineteen and one ninety six. Man, we were just smoking the deer today. What is the best map in all and also what is a great way to get a lot of money? Killed two bivolts today. First of all, nice West, that's awesome. Piebalds are pretty sick looking. Uh, as far as the best map overall, 
it's hard to say because there's a lot of like personal preference that will go into what you decide is your favorite map or best map overall. Uh, some of the best ones in the game regarded by a lot of people are like Silver Ridge Peaks, Revon Tule Coast, Yukon Valley, Verhonga Savannah. Those are all maps that a lot of people find to be like the best of the best. But again, like it's largely personal preference is going to depend on what you enjoy. And what was the other part of the message? Hold on, let me scroll up and... Great way to get money. Okay, so a really good way to get money. There's actually a couple that I really like. One of the best ways to get money is hunting lions on Verhonga Savannah. Another really good way is hunting red deer on Tiabaroa. Both are amazing ways of making cash in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And you can make literally hundreds of thousands in just a day if you're hunting them for, you know, like four or five, six hours. How rare is Fabled Piebald? Incredibly rare, Logan. Rare to the point where we've only ever seen like two of them. But a lot of us are suspecting that they could be bugged and not showing up as much as intended. So there's that. But they're very rare. Do I like ducks? Yeah, the ducks are fun to hunt. They are fun to hunt indeed. In fact, tomorrow's video is going to be a duck hunt. First one in a while. So I hope you guys are ready for that. It should be uh, quite a bit of fun. All right, later, Crow Scare. Thank you for dropping by, dude. Hey, Charlie, how's it going, dude? Do you think sleep zones are efficient? Uh, not really, Hudson, because they're more spread out and they're harder to see because they're usually in the trees. The main reason why people hunt drink zones is because they're in the open. When they're around water, you know where they're going to be, so it's much easier to find them and there's usually not as many trees around them. All right, later, Julie. Thank you for dropping in. Hey, Lily, how's it going? Hope you're doing good tonight. Hope you're doing super good. I don't drink any coffee, really, Oscar. Um, I used to drink coffee, but haven't really drank it much at all recently. Due to it, just not really... Uh, being good for me, like my heart tends to react to caf like high amounts of caffeine pretty poorly, so I don't really drink a lot of coffee anymore. Try to avoid it whenever I can. Holy. It does, Weasel. It does. <laughs> That's true. There's that as well. All right, later, Toaster. Thank you for uh, dropping by. Hopefully, we will get something crazy. Hopefully, we will. Oh, definitely, Johnny, definitely. That was, that was quite a traumatic moment. That was something else, man. That's a big one. Okay, there we go. That's diamond potential. That could be a diamond buck right there. That right there could be a diamond buck. That might be a diamond right there. Oh, that's got to be. Look how white he is. That's got to be diamond. Nice. We got the third one as well. That is awesome. 
Making a Hall of Shame. So far, I got a level one Bull Moose, tiny level three Red Deer, and a level one Whitetail. Nice, Redneck. That's awesome. Hall of Shames are always fun to assemble. Let's see. Hey, 261.54. That's huge for a level two. That is a massive level two diamond. That is, that's big for a two. That's really big for a two, actually. It, it's not every day you see a two break 261. That's a monster. About 100 kills since our last diamond as well. Good to see. Let's uh, raise the diamond count. That's awesome. What a beauty. Lots and lots of kills, the hunters boy. I, I've killed a couple hundred deer this stream alone. Actually, more than a couple hundred. How long have we been streaming? We've been live for two and a half hours, so I probably killed like 250 red, or uh, not red deer, about 250 white tail deer. So it's more of a matter of just we kill so many that we're bound to get some good spawns. What the? Y'all y'all come to hang out with the deer, huh? It's not even 12. Why are the moose here? <laughs> just random moose. Okay. Interesting. Nice speeding. That's awesome. Yeah, get it, get out of here, Moose. Maybe he'll die. Yeah, get us a great one, Moose. That, that'd be kind of nice. Imagine we just get a random great one, Moose, from killing just a, a little level four. Uh, yeah, Charlie, we got another diamond. What's my favorite fur type in this game? My favorite fur type would be the, well, it depends on species, honestly, because every species looks a little bit different for each of the rares. I would say the melanistic pheasant is one of my favorite looking rares in the entire game. Uh, the reason I have the dog Carson is for the trophies where I don't find the blood. I don't have the dog for the trophies where I know exactly where they've died. If I mess up like a diamond and I can't find the blood, then I'll use my dog, but I'm not going to use it for something where I can see it. The, the whole point in having the dog for me is for those situations, like those freak situations where we get like a tracking bug and I can't find the tracks or something like that. That's why I've got the dog on me. Because obviously for kills like this where we just drop them on the spot, we don't really need it. Hopefully we get it tonight on the twos. Hopefully we get it tonight. If not, then we're going to push hard tomorrow and try to get it then. I got a good feeling about tonight, though. We've been doing good. I believe in us. Uh-oh, we're dropping frames. Y'all might get a little bit of lag. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're dropping frames. It might lag for y'all. Might be some lag. I don't know if you guys are noticing any lag, but I'm getting major uh, dropped frames on OBS. Unfortunately. Was lagging for a second? Okay. Yeah, it's not a full on. It's not like freezing anything. It's just. It's just gonna be a bit choppy, I think. You know what's really funny? And I've always wondered why this happens. Whenever the stream lags, it like artificially increases the viewer count by like a hundred, and then it drops down like 10 seconds later. Every single time we get a massive lag spike, it, it like glitches out the viewer count and makes it look a hundred higher than it is. 
Makes me curious why that happens. Nice, nailed him. Candace, how's it going? What time am I streaming tomorrow? Doing the red tier. Great one at 335 kills in, killing 40 an hour. Is that good? Yeah, that's not too bad, Candace. That's not too bad. 40 an hour is about where I started at the beginning of my uh, red deer grinding. Once you get the, um, once you get the grind more, like, uh, optimized, then you'll definitely be killing even more than that an hour. But yeah, that's not, that's not a bad start. And I'll be streaming at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Shot a Mella Mallard the other day. Nice, that's awesome. Mella Mallards are pretty rare. Don't really see too many of them lately. Come on, great one, where are you? Where's our great one, guys? Where's our great one? Yeah, that one will go down. All right, later, Kobe. Thank you for dropping by. Really appreciate it. I would freak out, Columbia, if I get a fabled piebald, I, I think my life would be complete. I'd never need to grind for a whitetail again if I got a fabled piebald. <laughs> That'd be crazy. What's the craziest diamond that I have gotten? Um, Probably a diamond melanistic moose. I got a diamond melanistic moose at the beginning of the moose grind. That's got to be the nuttiest... Uh, great one or not great one a uh, diamond I've ever killed that was like the most mind-blowing thing to find CG thank you for the 20 months dude that is a long time as a member Dylan thank you for the super chat dude want to torture myself albino quail or black bear great one ooh out of the two, I think Black Bear is the most fun out of the two, so take that how you wish to decide uh, which one you want to go for. Oh, ah, yes, it's, oh my God. But I wish you luck on your grind. Okay, nothing down there. Yeah, unfortunately, the fabled piebalds that you see on TikTok are uh, traded ones, uh, Logan. Essentially, what happened is uh, a couple years ago, somebody got a fabled piebald to spawn. And instead of killing it, they've been literally, like, selling it to people. And letting them kill it, and then, like, leaving before they kill it so it doesn't disappear off their map. It's some pretty shady stuff, sadly, and that's why you see, um... That's why you see, like, fabled piebalds on TikTok. It's a sad thing, because right now we're pretty sure Fabled Piebald is bugged, so no new ones can spawn. We're pretty sure that they don't really exist anymore. We're hoping that the developers will eventually, like, look into it and maybe fix it. It really is, Jordan. No, it's not a glitched fur type, Jordan. It's, um... It is intended to be in the game. Fabled Piebald is supposed to be a variation you can get for them, but... There hasn't been a legitimate one in over a year and a half. I'm not sure, Candace. Not 100% sure when I'll stop streaming tonight. Kind of just, I, I guess, however long I feel like it tonight. Yep, exactly, Cloudy. That is how you know. Yeah, Mad Rat, it is pretty unfortunate. 
Especially when there's so many people out there that grind for their great ones. It does kind of suck that there's people that just trade for them. I've personally never really seen the purpose in doing that as it eliminates the whole part of it that's fun, which is grinding for that trophy and getting it to spawn and then freaking out when you realize that you finally got one to spawn. Like, to me, that's what makes it worth it is finally spotting it and realizing like, oh my gosh, my like one or two or 3,000 kill grind has finally come to an end. To me, that's what makes it fun and that's what makes it worth it is that final moment where you spot the great one after thousands of kills and you realize, oh my gosh, it's over. We got him. So I don't understand why people would want to trade. Funniest glitch I've experienced? Um, I mean, the the flying mouflon were hilarious back in the beta for uh, for uh, Truax Red Deer. Back when Truax Red Deer were released, uh, they had a beta that people could join on PC. And there was a bug where the mouflon were like zooming and flying across the map and just slamming into you. The funniest glitch ever. I've got an entire video talking about it called uh, the beta mouflon or terrifying or something like that. Or was it the beta mouflon or evil? It was something like that. You can find the video just by typing in scarecrow beta mouflon, but that was the funniest bug I've ever seen in Call of the Wild. Kinda, kinda miss it to be honest. That's the one glitch where I, I didn't mind it because it was hilarious. So I, I wouldn't be mad if it happened again. I'd, I'd be, I'd be happy if it happened again just because it would be hilarious. Holy speed and that, that sounds like a trophy of a lifetime right there. One K kills into your white tail grind. Can you wish me some good luck? Hey, you got this, Emery. I wish you good luck. You will get that great one. I don't know how many kills it's gonna take, but you will get it. Oh gosh, Cloudy. Yeah, that's that's the worst, man. That's the worst. You hate to see it. Highball and Melanistic Whitetail back to back. Nice, Grayson. That's awesome. Congratulations. Is a Leucistic Turkey rare? Yes, that is very rare, man. Leucistic Turkeys are definitely hard to find. That's a decent buck. I hope I got him. I think that was, uh, I think that was vitals. Gosh, we are just absolutely speeding through these whitetail tonight. This might be the fastest we've killed whitetail in a long time. We might even be surpassing the 100 per hour mark right now. These whitetail have been, uh, surprisingly reliable to not spook before I can get a second shot off on them. Wait, where's the... Didn't I kill a second one here? No organs! No! Ah, well, I spoke too soon. No organs hit. Unfortunate. But it happens. Dylan, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it. That's super generous of you. So many super chats tonight. Hope you're doing great. Left it to the wheel of pain, landed on quail. Shake my head. I will go tight out. <laughs> oh, man. You got this. I believe in you. It may be tough, but, you know, even if you got quail, you got this. Just believe in yourself. You will, you will get this quail. That's a good deer. 
That's a big two. That's a real big two. Trying to get away? Not allowed. Nice, country boys. Uh, really, the only way to get great ones, uh, Owen, is just shooting a lot of the animal that can give a great one. So, like, if you're wanting a whitetail great one, shoot lots and lots of whitetail until one spawns. There's really no other way to do it. You just gotta hunt the species and hope that you eventually get it. Got a diamond quail when Mississippi first came out. Nice, any hunting, that's awesome. I have one diamond quail. It's the only diamond quail I've ever killed. I've never got a rare quail either. I just have one diamond female quail and nowadays they changed it to where females don't even make diamond anymore. It's now the males. So like I can't even use my diamond quail in the mount with the moose. So I, I gotta go search for a diamond male at some point. Uh, yeah, MTB bros, we're on Leighton Lake District. It is uh, one of the base game maps. Really amazing map. Awesome for Whitetail as well. Ah, he's gonna die, but I was hoping we could kill him quicker so that he wouldn't run so far. go down not oh wait was that three bucks is that three bucks over there one oh no it's two okay I thought that middle one was a buck as well <laughs> dude that death animation was amazing it just kind of like slid to the side oh that's great love it That's just part of it, Ryan. That's just part of it, man. I mean, I've had a couple of grinds as short as yours, Ryan. I had a whitetail grind that only took 80 kills. And then I had an initial spawn whitetail great one as well. So I have had a couple of grinds that were short, but most of them are at least a few hundred. Most of the time between 1 and 2,000. Sometimes even more than that. I've had a lot of uh, different kill counts for my great ones. In fact, real quickly, I'll read off uh, all the different kill counts for my Great One Whitetail. So, for all of my Great One Whitetail, these are the kill counts it took. First one was 3,750. Um, second was 384. Third was 2,500. Fourth was 4,516. Fifth was 1980. Sixth was 1,100. Seventh was 1,760. Eighth was 1,150. 9th was 600, 10th was 730, 11th was 80, we went on a really good streak there, 12th was 1350, 13th was 1700, 14th was 230, 15th was 1220, 16th was 160, and 17th was 820, or actually 17th we haven't got yet, we're currently on about a thousand kills since our last one. So yeah, at the beginning of the stream, we were 820 since uh, since our last great one. We've easily killed 250 whitetail this stream, probably 300 by now. So yeah, we're definitely over 1,000 since our last great one. Logan, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for that, dude. Oh, it was an initial spawn? Nice, Ryan. Nice. Two initials? To be honest, Johnny, I don't think the second one was an initial. Um, back when I found it, I thought it was, but that was just because I didn't realize that deer move so much. Like, the moose grind really opened my eyes to the fact that animals move a lot when you're hunting them, and back then... I was just shooting every whitetail in sight and deleting herds constantly, so I don't think that great one off a of rancho was an initial spawn. I think that was a respawn, so... Yeah, I don't think I have two initial spawns. Originally, I did think that, but I, I don't think I do anymore. 
Pretty sure it was just a quick spawning great one. Because the more I got to thinking, like, I've seen so many moose zones move across the entire map. So it's very likely that that whitetail zone did the same thing. And that's why it looked like a new zone. On the twos, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the perks that come with that. The emos, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, that's definitely one of the smaller ones, NA Hunting. That's a really small, great one. Trying to think what my uh, smallest one is. Because I don't fully rem remember. Don't fully remember what the smallest one I have is. All right, later, Caitlin. See you in like, what, five minutes? I imagine you can restart in, in five minutes. Uh, that's just how they made them, man. Alligators are tough just because they wanted to make them tough, I guess. I guess they wanted us to kind of hunt them the way they're hunting in real life, so they added stuff that incentivizes you to do so. Because in real life, a lot of people just go for brain shots with gators, so they uh, implemented them in a way to where brain shots and neck shots are the best way to kill them. Oh, they're right in the water. They're going to float. On the twos, thank you for the super chat. No problem. 100k is around the corner. It definitely is, man. I believe. I believe that we will make it. Let's uh, get an updated count, in fact. 93,521. We are getting up there, man. We're getting up there. Ah, they're both floating. Gosh, I hate the floaters. How many white tail zones do you need for a non-HM grind? Uh, really just as many as you want, Columbia. If you're not doing herd management, then it really doesn't matter how many you have. Though I recommend finding as many as you can, just so you can kind of, like, determine which ones are going to be reliable. Because the more zones you have, the more chances you'll be able to find the super consistent reliable zones. Yep, we are getting frame drops at the moment on the twos. It's that time of night. It's late, so I imagine Xfinity's throttling people. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. Don't worry, guys. I'll try not to find a great one while it's lagging so much, you know? Can't promise anything, but I'll try. Wow, we saved that somehow. Oh yeah, we're lagging hardcore, man. We are lagging hardcore. Uh, Dylan, I, I don't know if you can hear me because the stream's lagging right now, but thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. We'll pay New England quail. If you can't find a great one bear, how will I find an ant-sized white bird? I don't know, man. Hopefully you'll find it. They're tough, but I believe. I believe that you can find it. Just a matter of uh, getting lucky, right? Yeah. Yeah, the lag's pretty wild right now. I'm not sure why it's so bad. You know what, guys? Since it's lagging so bad, I'm going to go grab a drink real quickly. I feel like uh, while it's lagging is the perfect time to go get a drink, so I'll be right back.
All right. Looks like the uh, lag has stopped. Guess all I need to do is go get some water and now we're good. Also be sure to uh, refresh the stream if you guys haven't. Because that will uh, ensure that you're uh, up to date on everything. And it's not behind. It's like because he's so close to 100k, probably. It's YouTube saying, come on, man, slow down. You're pushing up there too quickly. There's a buck. What time is it for me? 9.30 p.m., Colton. Just 9.30 p.m. for me. I live in Oregon, so it's still pretty early here. I've already done it, Samuxi. I've already done a face reveal about a year and a half ago. Maybe a little bit more than a year and a half ago. But either way, we've already done it, so... What gun do I use? I use the 308. Twelve thirty in Michigan? Yeah, geez, it's getting late there. Wow. Doing a super late stream for y'all. But I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I've certainly been having fun. Yeah, I only see one buck. I, I know there's probably more that just haven't arrived, but I don't want to shoot them just in case there isn't any more that are respawned. I don't want to delete the zone. So I'll do what I can to not risk deleting it. Apple bucks over there. That zone's been consistently getting a couple of them. Uh, yeah, Luki, I am from uh, America. I'm from Oregon. That should take them down. Welcome back, Caitlin. I see you survived the uh, PC restart. Uh, two and a half years of uploading every single day, Whitetail Whisperer. I grew the channel by uploading a video every single day and doing a live stream at least five days a week for two and a half years. That's how I grew the channel. And also just reporting on the news for Call of the Wild and just making videos that were unique and that uh, people weren't doing, you know? But the biggest thing is consistent uploads over two and a half years. That's what really does it for the most part. And I did lots of research on YouTube about how to, how to like title, tag, and write descriptions for my videos to make them appear in YouTube's recommendations and like search more often. So just lots of research and lots of consistent uploading. Nothing there. Wow. Let's main menu. I mean, he's also spamming Owen and that is against the rules. So I tend to not read messages that are violating the rules on the channel.
Where's the best whitetail spot? Uh, the best whitetail spot is going to be different for pretty much everybody's map. For me personally, it's Runaki. But that doesn't mean it's going to be Runaki for everybody. Pretty much the entire left half of Layton Lakes can have whitetail. And it's pretty much random where your hotspot is going to be. Think of it this way. Let's say there's like 150 different places that a zone can be for whitetail. Your map will choose about half of those. And it'll be completely random which ones it chooses. So it's hard to know what is going to be a hotspot for you versus what a hotspot will be for me. Like I said, for me, Runaki is a hot spot because it's got like three or four different zones for Whitetail. But there's some people that have no zones there at all. And in fact, my uh, beginner series account only has like two. Yes, Red Cups, that is rare. Anything albino is considered a rare. That's a big two. I turned. Gosh, four bucks. Can we get three of those maybe? Ah, uh, he's gonna go down. We we did get vitals on that last shot. Where's my spot at? Like uh, my hot spot. My best spot is down here at Runaki Lake. The, this spot's just loaded with whitetail for me. And then another hot spot for me is right here. All nine of these zones are whitetail. All of these zones are whitetail deer for me, so it, it's pretty loaded. 225, good buck. Guys, how have we not got a rare in like 1,300 kills? That's insane. I, I don't know how we've gone this long without getting a rare. It, it feels like it's literally been forever since we got a rare whitetail. Like, how is this even possible? Also, how is it possible for every respawn to be a one? <laughs> Three level ones respawn from that run. I'm doing good, Brody. What is my favorite state? Uh, well, considering I've barely gone to any different states, I'd say Oregon. But that's just because I've only been to Oregon, Washington, Utah, um, and California. I've gone through Idaho, but not enough to really like get an opinion on it. So I'd say Oregon's my favorite state until I've seen more of them. One plus one plus one equals three. Next year here is a level three. Hey, you never know. You might be right. I guess we'll see next run. What was that? What happened there? Oh my gosh. That poor deer just folded into some weird contorted sandwich, I guess. <laughs> that was amazing. That was, that was absolutely hilarious. That poor thing. Kind of feel bad for him, not gonna lie. Kind of feel bad for him. Uh, technically, yes, Owen. So I did get two great ones to spawn in one day, but the second one we didn't find until the next day because I, I logged off before I did another run. Otherwise, we would have seen two in one day. <laughs> what is this? Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. 
I shot him while he was all contorted. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. This deer pulls up and he's like, hey man, I'm just hanging around. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. We need this to happen more often. Look at him go. He's just, he's just floating away. Nothing big. You know, no, no problem. He's just kind of floating, kind of hanging around. That, that's just beautiful. And don't worry, guys. I got like 10 screenshots. So we got plenty of screenshots of that beautiful pose. Oh my gosh, that was gold. That was absolute gold. Uh, zones don't actually spook from Tensa, Carson. What happens is if you have it too close, they just don't render in. Um, if you want to make sure that they will render in, you can place your tent about 220 away. 220 meters, that is. More exciting than a diamond? Uh, to be honest, yes, because you don't see deer die in that position every day. That that was hilarious. That was pure gold. That's a big boy. Welcome back, uh, Casey. Because, CJ, the Hunter Classic was designed in the metric system, and I started on the Hunter Classic, so... Considering Call of the Wild uses, like, the same weights for a lot of the animals, it was just more natural to move over to it with the metric system. Not to mention, the game itself was built on the metric system, so all of the increments are much more even and nicely placed to where it's easy to remember. If I convert it over to yards, then it, it gets weird numbers, like... The 150 meter zero distance turns to 164 yards, which just doesn't sound as good. It's just a matter of being used to playing on the metric system because of classic and also just the game being built on metric. Ooh, that's a big boy. Lucky there, we got a three. That's a big three. There we go, another big three, like what? Probably 70 or 80 kills since the last one. That's a monster too. It's only got an upper estimate of 258, but it's definitely one of the bigger racks. I think it's probably just got really close tip to tip spread and that's why it scores so low. Nice to see another three though. Really nice to see another three. Yeah, that's going to be high on the estimate. I'm going to say 250. I'm going to say 258 right at the top. Wow, I was almost right. 257.95 just because that tip to tip spread is close and he's super wonky. Wow, yeah, that's a wonky dude. Look at him. Cool deer. Really cool looking deer. Super wonky and mismatched. You can definitely see this antler's way bigger than this one. Crazy. Let's raise up the diamond counter. Dylan, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hate quail. Hunter Call the Wild can have a new cast them crow. I, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't have that power. You'll get this quail. I promise you. You'll get it eventually. Just persist. You got this. Persist. The difference on the G2 Titans is crazy. Oh, definitely Phoenix, for sure. Massive difference in them. To be honest, I've always thought the G2s in Call of the Wild are some of the uh, most interestingly inaccurate Titans in the game. Like, they, they're typically a lot shorter in real life, so it's a bit strange to see 
Like every whitetail in Call of the Wild have massive G2s that are longer than every other tine on the antler. Oh my gosh! Dylan! Oh yeah, oh yeah, that 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 was the one I just read off. Streamlabs just took forever to bring it up. Where's the rares? How have we not got a rare today? Or yesterday, or the day before? I've never gone this long without a rare for Whitetail. This is like 13 or 1400 kills at this point. I don't know the exact number, but it's more than 1300. That's absurd. Like, we gotta be due for one. Gotta be due for a rare. Nice, Hunter. That's awesome. Uh-oh, we're stuck. Oh, oh, there we go. We're out. No, it's floating. Well, we got this one at least. Shot a level four diamond white tail. I'm assuming you mean lev level three, Hunter. Your time where you're at is rare o'clock? Is, is it rare o'clock? Are we gonna get a rare? Hopefully. Hopefully we get a rare. Nice, Jacob, that's awesome, dude. Also, guys, just a quick reminder, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. We're on our way to 100k subs, and at this point, every sub counts, and I really would appreciate it. So, uh, thank you guys so much for, uh, being here and subscribing to the channel. Just got your first pie ball. Nice, Flying King. That's awesome. What does the typical rack look like? I will show you, Emery. Let me open up the image. This is the typical rack. This is the rack I desperately want. This is the rack that I have killed 25,000 whitetail trying to get and have never got. I've got every other rack for the great one whitetail, but I don't have this one and this is the one I want so badly. The closest I've got is a 50-50 rack that has one of these antlers and then one of the short rack antlers. So yeah, this is what we're after. Easily the rarest great one in the game in terms of just how often it shows up. It's so tough to find, but it looks so beautiful. It looks so beautiful. Yeah, definitely, Flanky. It's such a cool-looking deer. Like, I feel like it is the most realistic of the Great Ones. Because, like, a lot of the Great One Whitetail, you could argue that they look a lot like farm deer, right? But that one right there, the typical rack, that looks like a just natural, non-typical that you could find out in the wild. And I feel like that's why it's the most sought after. Because it looks the most like just a non-typical that you could expect to find while you're... Hunting out on public land. Oof, that was bad shooting. Well, that guy's not gonna die anytime soon. Nah, Jacob, I, I wanna find my own. Bro, is 72.65. Wait, are, are you saying I'm 72.65 years old? Uh, no, Cloudy, I haven't. I don't think any particular, uh, rack is named after me. I mean, I don't think I was ever the first to get any of them, so... I, I don't think any of the Great One racks would get named after me. I mean, like, we have the Kinsko rack. A lot of people call it because one of them was found first by Kinsko, at least when it comes to content creators. We've got uh, the big rack, which some, pe some people refer to as the flinter rack. The only rack I could think of that would 
maybe get called the Scarecrow wreck is my 50-50 wreck because I've never seen another one. I've only seen one that's half the typical and half the uh, short wreck. So I could see that one maybe being called the Scarecrow wreck, but that's the only one that I would say would fit that uh, name. Whew, got him. Thought he was going to get away for a second. Oh yeah, I've heard of that one, uh, Jacob. That's on all, all platforms, actually. It's not just PlayStation. All right, guys, so we're probably going to have to jump off shortly. Um, it's about time for my daughter to go to sleep. So we're probably going to wrap this stream up soon. But to be fair, I, I suppose we've streamed longer than I normally would this late at night. We will just uh, grab these deer and then hunt one more zone and then we'll hop off. Uh, not for me, Luki. For me, it's 9.50 p.m. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this stream. We're gonna hop off, but this was a fun one. Got a lot of deer down, got a few diamonds. Unfortunately, no uh, rares or great ones, but got a few diamonds and really can't ask for too much more. But I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, that's another diamond potential. You know what, we'll kill this first. Let's kill this first, that's a big one. What what a timing, man. What timing. Diamond potential 2, right as I'm about to end. And... Diamond! Let's go. It's a diamond. Beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. What a way to end the stream. A diamond. Well, guys. Thank you all for being here. We'll be back tomorrow with another live stream and another video. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed this stream. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.